Hello everyone, welcome to our channel today. In this video, we're going to discuss another formula, Guilin Gan Lu Yin. Guilin Gan Lu Yin is actually com a combination of Wu Lin San, Liu Yi San, and it adds Shi Gao and Han Sui Shi. Wu Lin San, we're going to discuss later in the other categories. It has the function for urinate for dispel the dampness in the body. Liu Yi San. In previous video we have discussed Liu Yi San. The main function of Liu Yi San also for summer heat have difficulty urination. With Wu Lin San and Liu Yi San, Shi Gao and Han Sui Shi are added to this formula. So this patient is actually be, was attacked. This kind of condition was actually was attacked by summer heat and dampness. So the patient we have summer heat and also severe dampness. The patient we have fever, headache, feel thirsty and want to drink a lot. The patient have difficulty urination or sometimes you feel nausea or even vomiting. Why the patient have difficulty urination? It's actually because of the dampness in the body. So it make it make the the fluid, the the internal organs dysfunction. The dysfunction of intestine and blood so it cause difficulty urination. Han Sui Shi, Han Sui Shi, and Shi Gao. The property of these two are very similar. They are very cold. Han Sui is even colder than Shi Gao. So it, it, so they are actually used for the, the hot condition, the severe heat in, in this kind of condition. Han Sui Shi and Shi Gao. The other herbs in this formula is Guan Gui. In Wu Lin San, there's one herb, Gui Zhi. Here, they change to Guan Gui. Guan Gui is it, Rou Gui, and actually it describes the very good quality of Rou Gui. Guan, the difference between Guan Gui and Rou Gui, they actually the same. But Guan Gui is the better quality. So Guan is the, the officer. Guan Gui it means this Rou Gui is used as gift for the officer. So it's actually just describe the, the quality of Rou Gui. It's better quality. The better quality of Rou Gui have the better function of warming the internal because the patient was attacked by dampness and summer heat so the patient have a lot of fluid ex excess fluid in the body excess fluid how to reduce how to relieve the fluid the dampness in the body one we can increase the urination so the excess fluid can go out of body from the urine. The other is we can use the warm herb. The warm herbs can help to relieve the dampness. This is very similar in the garden. If in the garden it's very if there's water in the garden and if it's very wet, we need to wait until the sun. When the sun comes, the garden will dry because of the heat in from the sun can dry the water on the ground. It's very similar in the body. If we have dampness in the body, it will cause the cold condition of the body. So then we will use some warm herbs to dry the, the dampness. It's very similar to the sun to dry the ground, the water on the ground, the the water in the garden. It's very similar so in this formula. So in this formula we use 
guan gui, we use rou gui to benefit the, the circulation, to warm the internal organs. And once the function, the organs function is better, the dampness will be dispelled, the dampness will be clear. Also in this formula, it is we said we said this formula was a combination of Wu Lin San and Liu Yi San. Liu Yi San in previous video we discussed that the ratio of Hua Shi and Gan Cao is six and one. But in this formula, Hua Shi and Gan Cao is actually two and one. So we actually, they actually increase the the dose of both Hua Shi and Gan Cao. The reason why we use a lot of Gan Cao here, it's actually the other theories of to in to create in or to create because the the patient have dampness there, and also at the meantime the patient have. At the meantime, the patient have severe heat, so the heat will consume the fluid we the fluid we need. Here, sometimes people will feel confused. Why there's there's too much dampness there in the body, too much fluid in the body, excess dampness, but the patient will have indeficiency, will feel thirsty. So he, so here actually the dampness is different. One is the fluid our body can use, because the good fluid, or the the useful fluid, and the other one is the excess fluid. It's very similar, uh, like the clean water we can use, or the waste water, the dirty water we can't use. We we can't use the dirty water to help the body. The one we don't need, the the one the water we don't need need to go out of the body, and the one we need, if we shut off the one we need, we still going to suffer from indeficiency or fluid deficiency. So these fluids are different. So these fluids are different. One is the one we can use, the other one is actually the waste. So here we increase the dose of Gan Cao. We have used Han Shui Shi, Shi Gao, Hua Shi. These three are very cold. And Gan Cao and Rou Gui are warm and sweet. There's a theory here is sweet and cold. When we use these two herbs together, these two type, two property together, it will generate fluid. So cold and sweet, sweet can generate fluid. Similar theories we have discussed before is the sour and sweet can generate in pungent and sweet can generate yang. So these are the theories we use in our daily practice. Thank you for watching our video today. For more information, you can visit our website.